Project Management Insights, providing project managers with professional development in the interpersonal skills areas of leadership, team building and communication. Welcome to this episode of Project Management Insights. Today, I want to take a look at budget nightmares and specifically in relation to external vendors overspending. What mechanisms do you have in place to keep track of the scope of their work? Do you ensure that they fully understand the scope of the requirements? So is your statement of work that you provided them with detailed enough so that they have a very clear understanding of exactly what it is that you're expecting them to deliver. And if not, what can you do and what can you put in place to ensure that the scope is clear? This is one of the key aspects of them not overspending. If they are very clear about the scope, it's going to make it easier for them to ensure resourcing is in place to be able to provide for you And it also means that you then have a clear go-to position if there are issues with overspending, over-resourcing and over-allocation of time. How are you going to keep track of the staff, the external staff working on your project? Now, in my mind, sometimes I don't even need to really know exactly who's working on my project. Other than, do I have the resources that are going to deliver because they have the right required skills? And can I ensure that the quality of the work that I'm going to be provided back from those external vendors meets my needs? These are the key things that I do need to ensure and therefore I want to understand at a high level who's working on the project and Part of my trust level is with the external vendor and the relationship manager for the vendor. If I have a really strong and trusting relationship with them, then I am going to allow them to manage their resourcing and only ensure that they deliver to me exactly what I want. And again, this also relates to the rates or the pay per hour or pay per time for the staff working on your project. You want to ensure that the staff working on your project have the skill set and are not being charged out at a higher than expectation rate. Now again, this comes down to exactly what happened when your statement of work or statement of requirements was provided to the external vendor and what they returned in terms of the number of staff, the quality of staff and the charge out rates for the staff that were going to work on your project. They might have simply provided you with a one-off all-inclusive fee and in that context you really have no way of understanding who's going to be working on your project and the rates for the staff. What you can do though is be monitoring the spend rate. Now the other key aspect here of course is whether there are enough resources allocated as per your original agreement to ensure that they are able to deliver on time. And this is where the overspending occurs. If there are problems with resourcing, that there are not enough resources working on your project externally, this needs to be addressed and it needs to be addressed quickly. And the key here is what sort of gates and checking have you got in place to monitor the output of your external vendor to check that they are producing exactly what it is that you're expecting. You needed to have set these up as part of your project planning and as part of your statement of requirements. It's very important that you have these gates and checks in place because you need to be able to rein in any overspend the minute it starts occurring, not wait until the end of your project and then find out that you know there's a huge overspend. So this gets back to how succinct is your statement of work and that's assuming that you have one. In the best case scenario, you're going to have a detailed statement of work. It's going to be have, have been agreed upon by your vendor. The vendor will have provided you back with a response to the statement of work which details 
who's going to be working on the project, the number of resources and their time frame for delivery and the gates and checks that will be in place. It's very important that this is in place for you. And so if it's not, go, uh, go away now and put one in place. How frequent is your reporting from the vendor? This is another key area. As I've mentioned earlier, it's important that you're able to track during the life of your project exactly what the external vendor is spending down on your behalf. And the only way to do this is to ensure that you have very clear reporting guidelines in place so that your vendor is providing to you up-to-date reporting and um, my reporting usually occurred weekly so that I understand exactly what's been um, produced by the vendor during the week and therefore what that equates to from a time and money perspective. And do you have an escalation process in place? This is another key thing that was valuable for me when I had issues with my vendor or started to have issues with my vendor that I had an escalation process that I could tap into so that I could go to higher up senior executives in the vendors organization and start to express my concerns or my issues around the project management and project delivery from the vendors perspective so that again things were reined in sooner rather than later. And if you are in a state of starting to or already have an overrun of costs, how are you addressing this? What are you doing? Are you putting it in writing? Are you going to senior executives at your organisation? Are you getting your own senior executives, sponsors, CIO, senior management at whatever level that can go to the senior management of the vending, vendors organisation in order to express concerns and start to get some formal agreements in place around how the situation is going to be turned around. Budget nightmares can be fixed, but it's important that they're tracked and picked up as early as possible and from there managed at your own level. And if you're not getting the right sort of expectation or uh, responses from the people that you're working with, your other project manager uh, from the vendor's side as an example or your account manager from the vendor's side, then you need to do something about it and you need to do something about it quickly. Don't let it go to a major overspend before you go to your vendor and express the concerns that you have. And in the, the only way to do this is to be able to track fully exactly what's being delivered and the spend rate that it's being delivered at. So keep these all in mind. Make sure your statement of work is clear. And if your statement of work is clear up front, then you should not, not have any issues as long as you are have the reporting in place and are tracking on a regular basis. Don't be too scared to ask for reporting more frequently. They might not like it and that's not the point. The point is that you want to be clear exactly what's being delivered for you as you are the customer paying the end bill. Okay, enough for this week. Talk to you next week. Thank you for listening to this Project Management Insights podcast. Be sure to visit projectmanagementinsight.com and sign up for our monthly newsletter or to receive updates on upcoming training. You may also find mentoring offers there.